For those of you that have had uh, traumatic childhoods or abuse or trauma in your childhoods, oftentimes you cannot recall gaps of time. And I want to give you a couple reasons for that. Number one, our hypocampus, which uh, forms around the age of four, that's in charge of locating time um, and location. And when the uh, amygdala is so engaged, it sometimes crowds our hippocampus and um, our amygdala is engaged when we are in flight, fight or flight or um, things like that. So um, that's number one. Number two, um, oftentimes uh, those that have um, CPTSD or trauma in their childhoods or extreme distress or anxiety or you name it, um, betrayal, neglect, abandonment, um, oftentimes you can recall certain experiences but not the emotions that go with it or recall certain emotions but not the experiences that go with it. And one of the reasons is because when we release cortisol, which is um, a numbing uh, chemical, um, if, if we release too much of it over a certain amount of time, it starts e eating away at our uh, corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is that matter in the middle of our brains on top that helps the two um, spheres connect and communicate. Anyways, I get into all that jargon just to say this. If there are chunks of your childhood you don't remember, or there's times you can rattle off all the horrific things that happen to you like you're reading a restaurant menu, um, or what have you. Listen, that's all part of childhood trauma. You're not crazy, you're not lazy, you're not stupid, you're not, you're traumatized.